السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الله وبركاته Brothers, can you Brothers, hear me? Can you loud, hear me? Or is there any loud, loud and clear? Or is there I, I think there is some echo. I, I think there is some echo. Is it okay now? I hope inshallah it's okay now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu everybody. I welcome you all brothers to this first lesson of uh, Tajweed Beginners Course. I hope uh, everybody is doing well, and uh, I think the streaming on the YouTube has also been started. So if anybody wants to watch it over there, they cannot log into Zoom or any problem. They can benefit from that, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, assalatu wassalamu ala nabiyyina Muhammad. My dear brothers, I welcome you to this short yet comprehensive course that is as short and as comprehensive, uh, quick, requiring least amount of effort as this course. Inshallah is going to be mostly a practical course. If you follow the direction, pay attention in the class, Every day practice for 10 minutes. Yes, 10 minutes only. You will come out of this course, inshallah ta'ala, successful being able to recite Quran without the need of any color-coded uh, Quran. You will be able to recite the Quran, which is available widely in black and white print with the rules of recitation, bismillah ta'ala. Inshallah, I will put my effort to explain how to pronounce a letter. What are the do's and don'ts? Rules of Tajweed, but you need to be fully attentive, my brothers. Uh, you, you have to pay attention because class is just once a week for one hour or so. In this, I would request you to please pay full attention. Just I mean, stop doing everything else and just focus on the class. Inshallah, you will, you will immensely benefit. Each lesson is built upon the one before. It's like building bricks. When you're building a structure, you put one brick over the other. If the brick bricks that you place beneath are not fully joined together, then your structure will be weak. So you need to make sure 
that you master each lesson before you move on to the next lesson. That means that brothers, you promise with me here now that you will practice, you will revise for 10 minutes every single day. Some brothers are saying they cannot hear it. Can anybody, can none of you hear me? Okay, brother Muhammad, brother Muhammad, uh, brother Salam, you need to check uh, if your speakers are off or something because other brothers can, alhamdulillah, hear. Can some, some few more brothers can please give me an, a feedback if you can hear? Alhamdulillah. Brothers who cannot hear, please uh, check your speakers or perhaps uh, log out and log back in. <coughs> so what I was requesting you was, brothers, I want a promise from you, brothers, that every day, just for 10 minutes, you will revise your lesson. You will have six days to revise your lessons. For six days, just 10 minutes only. So when you come to the next class, you have expertise of the lesson we have studied in the, in the preceding week. I will explain certain rules and show you slides, but you must write them, write the notes down in your notebook with you. It is, it is for your own benefit. And if you write it down, it will be helpful for you because when we write something, it gets more into our, our mind than instead of just listening and looking into the slide and then forgetting it. Uh, since this is a practical course, there'll be not, not much to write, but there'll be few things perhaps in the beginning and maybe somewhere in, in, in the, uh, during the course, there will be some. Also, these notes, inshallah, will be beneficial if any of one, any of you, any one of you wants to teach, then these notes will come handy. Uh, other thing is, brother, this is an online course. Inshallah, I'll try to uh, any, uh, teach whatever I can. Still understand one thing, brothers, you need to follow up with your local imam or local teacher in your local mosque to follow up with the reading because my brothers, please understand. Achievement, what we will achieve in this course is not finishing in this course. Rather, the true achievement is to what follows the completion of this course. There is a huge reward. You can see, brothers, the, the hadith of Rasulullah in, in the virtues of learning the Noble Quran in the slide. Whoever recites a letter from the Book of Allah, he will receive one good deed as 10 good deeds like it. I do not say that Alif, Lam, Mim is one letter, but rather Alif is a letter. Lam is a letter and Mim is a letter. So my brothers, just reciting three letters, Alif, Lam, Mim. You recite now with me. Alif, Lam, Mim. Brothers, you got 30 good deeds. Yes, 30 good deeds. It is so easy, brothers. This is what our goal is, Bismillah, my brothers, to learn this course, then read it to some imam, some other teacher who is present, who, where you can sit in front of him. He can see how are you reading and he can correct you if there are still any mistakes left. Because online, we can do only getting up to a certain level. It, it cannot go beyond that. But, but we will try our level best to give you a solid grounding, inshallah. So my brother, this should be our goal that we recite every day. We learn and then we recite every day. Bismillah, you, you will find in yourself in your life, baraka, happiness, you, you will be glad. You will be very happy. Bismillah. Another thing, brother, I, I have heard one of the teacher, may Allah reward him, mentioning that there are three pillars of any course you study. Number one is the teacher. Number two is the course outline, the curriculum. Number three is the student. Inshallah, I will give you what I can to the best of my ability. Now, number two is the curriculum. The book that we are going to use is Qaeda Nuraniya. This is a very systematic method of teaching how to recite the Noble Quran. This curriculum is very wisely designed, as you will see lesson by lesson. And what is the third pillar, brothers? My brothers, third pillars is you yourselves, my brothers. You are the third pillar, the student. That is the third pillar. So if you need to be successful, if you need to be successful, the teacher is here. The curriculum is here. You are one of the assets to your success. So if you are ready, let's go on. Let's start the course. Let's move on. But my brothers, please pay attention to the class. Practice, repeat, and revise. It is very, very important to come to every class because this is very common thing we see. First class, 
huge number of people are there. And as the weeks goes by, number of brothers or number of students getting diminished. This is not the way of learning, my dear brother. And this is Quran. Once a week, one just one hour, this is really not too much. So I hope, my brothers, that you will be able to come to every class. But we all are human beings. We could have some issues. We, we might not be able to come in one class. But inshallah, lesson notes will be put up in the class in, in, in your group. So you can go through them and you can see what have we studied. And when we come next time, then you can also uh, any, uh, ask questions if you have. And if there are this continuation of the videos or streaming on the YouTube, then you can also benefit from that inshallah. So my brothers, it's just about an hour a week. Please, my brothers, if you want to be successful, you have to make sure that you come. I promise you, if you any follow the advice, you do your practice, you do your revision, you, you just pay attention in the class, you will come out very happy of yourself. You will be very confident in yourself and you will be reciting the Quran with proper rules of presentation, my brothers. I hope this is clear and everybody will be able to. Any, uh, give me some honor of understanding and of what I said and try to, to follow it up, my brothers. Is there any questions, my brothers? Are there any questions, brothers, from so far, whatever we have spoken? So brothers are promising to attend all the classes, inshallah. Inshallah, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, brothers, in your time, in your knowledge. May Allah give you barakah in, in your life, in your family, in everything. Okay, there's another hadith. This is also very, very important hadith, my brothers. And we will, any inshallah, time and again, I will try to come back to this slide in every lesson when, whenever we will find that there is something we can benefit at that time if we, by reinforcing this hadith. The hadith is, since Bukhari and Muslim, one who is proficient in reciting the Quran is associated with noble, pious angels, scribes. As for he who stammers when reciting the Quran and find it difficult for him, he will be granted a double reward. So my brother, at any point in time, if you find that, oh, you are having difficulty in pronouncing this letter or pronouncing other letter, don't just let shaitan put you off. You are getting double reward, Bismillah, my brothers. So please hang in there. Okay. We are now starting the lesson. This is, uh, I can see some brothers from other courses are here as well. May Allah bless them. I mean, they, they understand we go through a lot of theory and a lot of things, but here we will find things, inshallah, mostly practical. Brother, these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. These seven letters will come very often. These seven letters are khusra, dhaqtun, qid. These are full mouth letters. Whenever we recite Quran, every time these letters come, we <coughs> recite them full mouth. So we are going to start, inshallah, Nurani Qaeda. Once again, it's a very, very beneficial curriculum and effective method in learning the the tajweed of the Noble Quran, inshallah, we will benefit from this with the least amount of time and least amount of learning. And bas, inshallah, you will have to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and just try to work hard. We will try to do this course in a teacher student pattern. So I will explain to you the letters, few letters. I will read how those letters are read. And then brothers, some brothers can come forward and they will read. So when they are reading, everybody will be listening. We will see if there's any mistake, I will correct them. So everybody else will hear and they will also understand that this was a mistake and can be corrected like that. If everybody in the class want to practice, brothers, you are more than welcome. I do not have a problem. Understand one more thing. Don't just feel, oh, we have learned a very little today because these are the beginning stages. Brothers, like these letters, 
the ayah of the Quran consists of these letters. For those who don't uh, have an understanding of Arabic language, let's say you are you're speaking in English, like this A, B, C, D, what are these? These are the letters. These make up a sentence. If you do not get any letter right in these letters, then how are you going to pronounce? How are you going to say? How are you going to read the sentence? So I hope, brothers, you understand this is a very crucial stage. We will try to go on a medium pace so that everybody goes along and nobody's missed out. If anybody has issue, please raise your hands and I'll try to explain it as many times as possible. Once again, we will try to do it in a teacher-student fashion. I will try to explain, show it to you how to read that. And then while I'm doing it, you can at that time pay attention. And then when some brothers and volunteer is coming here to practice, then you can practice with your mics closed with your mics closed. And when you want to practice in class, then you can raise your hands and then you can open your mic and you can come to the class. Brothers, this is an adult course. It is not children there. So my preference is that mics you have, you should have the opportunity to unmute the mic anytime. But please brothers, be careful. It has to be used responsibly. If many brothers open their mics and they start talking over each other, then the admins will have no option but to any mute everybody's mic. I hope everything is clear now. We'll try to divide lessons into a smaller portion, at least in the few classes. So once everybody gets hang on the letters, they understand how the letter is pronounced, then we will inshallah see how the class is going and then we will speed up. Okay, <laughs> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Yani, there are certain facts we need to know before we uh, start the course that there are 29 letters in Arabic. One could say, why on the screen there are 30 letters? Because Yah is coming twice. So if you count them from one to Yah is 30, but I'm saying 29. The reason is the, the Yah comes in Quran written in, in second last way and the last way. So just to familiarize the student, it is mentioned here. And out of these 29 letters, only 28 letters have sound. The first one, Alif, has got no sound. Inshallah, we will study that. Number second thing is that there are seven full mouth letters in Arabic, and these letters, we will also cover them in the lesson. What ulama has done is they have grouped these letters. So for example, these are seven letters. If you have to read seven letters, for example, let's say there's a word, uh, what you uh, find, for example, F-I-N-D. If I ask you to memorize the letter F and I and D and N, how are you gonna memorize? You will think, okay, it was F or it was G, what was it? But if you just remember the, the, the phrase, the, the, the majmua, find, now you know, find. Likewise, this is khussa, dhaghtan, dhaghtun, dhaghtun, you can see. sound is spills out of the mouth. So heavy letter, as I said, sound is trapped in the mouth. Like you say, kho, 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 wo, wo. It's, and, uh, compare this with me or ba, wow, fa. They, they just spill out very easily. <laughs> Number third thing we need to know, brother, is that there are three long vowels in Arabic. Alif, Wow and yeah. They are used to stretch the word. So Alif any produces a sound of ah. Uh, so you say ah, uh, ba, ta, fa. While the wow, it produces the sound of u. So you say ulu, nu, ru. Ya produces the sound of like ye, so you say he, li, ji, hakada. Is it clear, brothers? Please stop me if you have any issues. Uh, I will explain it again. Just raise your hands and then you will be able to inshallah ask the question. Brother Rauf is saying uh, audio is gone. Brother, anybody else has got problem with audio? Okay. 
Okay, so okay, Alhamdulillah. So brother, I, I will try to repeat every time what I'm saying. It's, it's, so it's, it's just better that it, you, you can get the things, the idea again. So what do I say? I say to you, there are 29 letters of Arabic. 28 have got sound. Among them, in 29, there's one which is Alif. Alif has got no sound, right? Alif is there to stretch the letter. Wow and Ya, though they have got sound, but they are also used to stretch. You, everybody understands what's the meaning of stretch here, the mud. Yaqulu, Nuhiha, this is how it is. We have also, I've also uh, showed you this full mouth letters. These are seven letters. Every time you will recite these letters, you will recite with heavy mouth, like Khalidina, Khalidina, Qatiluna, Walimuna. So you see, Qa, Wa, Kha, they all were heavy. We didn't say Khaliduna, we didn't say Walimuna, we didn't say, uh, what was the third word? Yaquluna, we say Yaquluna, Khaliduna, Walimuna. I hope this brief revision was beneficial, inshallah, my brothers. Is there any question, brothers? Sometime audio has gone, brother. I said, perhaps this is uh, internet, but I think I don't have any issue here. I don't see any issue. Uh, okay, brother Muhammad, what is your question, brother? You can write it if you want to. Brother Muhammad, if you have any question, please do write. Okay, which are the seven letters? These are the seven letters, brothers. Look, these seven letters are written here as, let me just see if I can get the, uh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> These seven letters are written on the side and they're written on this slide as well. I'll break it down. They will come in the course, brother. I'll, I'll say it again. It's Don't worry, my brother, these will come. And they are written on, if you could see the first page of the Qaeda, they're written on the blue color in, on the side. They're written the red color on the blue background. I hope everybody can see that inshallah. So these are the seven letters. Now we will move on to our first sabak. So Alif. Alif is pronounced like that. Alif, Alif, Alif. Alif, it has got far at the end. You don't pronounce this letter too fast and say Alif, or you don't make it too slow and say Alif. You say Alif. As I mentioned before, Alif hasn't got its uh, its own sound. It is used to stretch the sounds of other letters in Arabic. So we say Alif. And where does this Alif comes from? Now this is something. The explanation comes in play. You see, first of all, like the word in English, you say lift, alif, lift, alif. You see, you can find some sort of resemblance in that. Now, where does it come from? This comes from the empty part of the mouth, mouth. There's no particular place where your tongue will touch or anything. You just open your mouth and say alif, and at the end, because it's a far sound, so your uh, upper teeth will touch your lower lip, but that will come in, in, the, in the letter fa, so we will see it in more detail, inshallah. So this was alif. Next is ba. Where does ba come from? It comes from the closing of your mouth. It comes from the inner part of your mouth where, when the moist part of the lips meet, like the word bath. You see, I'm going to take bath. So your lips have got a dry area and your lips have got inner side, which is moist area. 
So the two moist parts, upper lip and lower lip, they join, and this is where this letter comes from. And if you look at the name, any for this, as I said, this is a beautiful curriculum for understanding how to pronounce. The author has added letters after that, so you can stretch and you can see the letter. Because if I would say ba ba ba, then you might not understand as good as if I say ba. Ba, ba. Now you understand this. What is this sound? Because the, when the stretch is going, you can you can just keep it ringing in your ears, and you can understand. As you said before, this alif is to stretch the word. You see, there is there's a dot on the bottom. This is ba, and we pronounce it as ba, ba. Ba. Remember, brothers, when reciting this, don't any make it strong. Don't don't make it a full mouth letter. Don't say ba. You see, one can say ba, but ba is wrong. It's ba, ba. Is it clear, brothers? Brothers, please, you need to respond and respond quickly because if I have to wait for the answers, then this will just, uh, you know, the time will fly off. Marshall and presence of so many brothers, we need to see more yes or no's because as I said before, brother, if you don't say no right now, we will move on, then what's going to happen? You are here to learn Quran. Don't just feel shy, my brothers. Forget, I mean, shaitan is going to say a thousand things to you. Don't listen to anything. Just say yes and no. If it is no, then I'll repeat. I'll repeat it. Ten times if you want it, brother. Remember one thing, brothers. Those who are saying yes after finishing this line, inshallah, I'll bring everybody to read. And we will then see. So please make sure that you understand it. We will go back to the slide. If there's a problem, that's not an issue. But please, please, my brothers, if you have issue, tell me. Brother Abdul, yes. Do you have any issue, brother? Brother Abdul, you have raised your hand. Brother Salam, Brother Muhammad, you can unmute your mics if you want, but please, one by one, if you have any question, please do ask. Brothers who have raised their hands, do they want to say anything? If not, then please lower your hands because otherwise I will not know who actually wants to speak and who has just raised the hand and then changed the mind. Okay, Halas, I think uh, Brother Muhammad, do you want to say anything? Okay, Brother Abdul, no. Brother Salam, is there anything you wanna say? Please do say. Mr. Zaidi, do you wanna say something? Yes, now I am able to hear your voice. Uh, can I ask your name, please? Uh, I'm going to give it to Mr. Iqbal Zaidi. I'm his wife because he, right. he did, did not know how to set. That's fine. That's this why I would ask him to because it's brother's course. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm yes. going to give him. Please, yeah. Jazakallah. <laughs> Yeah. brother. How can I help? Did you have any? Do you have any problem understanding? Or 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 ba? Yeah. You want me to repeat it, brother? No. Yes. Yes. No, what is that? 
you did not watch even first okay, so okay, I'll, 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 don't you don't I'll, I'll, it's 7:30 did you start I'll, now sorry brother i said you send me the message at my class is 7:30 Not seven. Now it is seven. Did you start now or what? Uh, brother, admin have sent messages, and the different countries' time were given as well. But everybody is supposed to check their own time. Those times which admins write out of their kindness is just for to facilitate the students so they can quickly understand and get the idea. The class has uh -huh. started half an hour ago, so that's fine. Uh, We will continue with the okay. class. If you, any, okay. if you have any questions. Okay. You can ask us. Okay. How is the preparation time? Okay. Jazakallah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Classes. Yes, brothers. So we have done Alif and Ba. Now we move to the third one, which is Ta. Now, brothers, this letter Ta, as you can see, pictures are there for your ease. So the explanation when they go along with the pictures, inshallah, it will be very helpful. This letter has two dots on the top, as there was one dot under the letter in the before we, we the one we have studied, which was ba. Now this letter, the front part, front flat part of the tongue, touches against the root of the front two teeth at the top. So if you see the picture carefully, you have to be careful because if you, like, I'll, I'll tell you one thing very quickly, brother. What is this picture or what are these pictures? These pictures, what is our mouth? When, it, when we talk about alphabets and we talk about the Jewish, then we need to understand that all these letters lives in our mouth. Some letter lives on the tongue. Some letter lives on the throat. Some letters live on the side of the tongue. Some on the middle of the tongue. So it is like the door numbers. their house numbers so if you have a friend any uh, i said the same example in other class hasan maybe and then zaid and then maybe hussein so your three friends they all z live on number 10 hussein lives on number 20 z lives on number 30 now if you want to go to hussein instead of number 10 if you knock the door of number 30 is hussein going to come out no hussein will not come out z will come out because hussein doesn't live there likewise we need to know that what is the place from where the letter is coming if in our tongue is touching the right place then bismillah taala the correct letter will come if we will touch it to some place which is not correct then the, the the letter will not come as it should have come i hope it is clear so the front part of your tongue touching the roots of your top teeth it's not touching the palate it's not touching the tooth it's touching the palate i hope it is clear so this is the place where the gums of your teeth or the root of your teeth begins so you have to keep your sound solid ta 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 you have to be careful people sometimes any spill this this word and makes mistake they either don't put the tongue on the right place or they produce any maybe they put it on the gums and then they say like this tha 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 this is not tha this is ta 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 this is very very solid word also you should not say like cha cha if if you put your tongue on the tooth itself then it will be like cha cha no this is incorrect brother is ta ta so we say ta 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 is it clear my brothers or any question in in this letter as i said in the beginning we'll go slow we want to make sure that everybody understood that is the letter ta is clear brothers alhamdulillah okay next letter is okay another thing is if you look at the screen it also gives on some letters where it's possible to give like when we say the the name tarik so we don't say tarik you see we don't say tarik we don't say charik we say tarik is this is how ta comes though in writing tarik is written by ta but in reading we don't say tarik we say tarik i hope it is clear inshallah 
Okay, my brothers, the fourth letter is tha. And how does it come? The edge of the tongue, yeah? Touches the bottom edge of the front upper two feet. So if you see the picture, you will understand that how does it come? So it's tha, 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 tha. Uh, I hope it is clear. Uh, I will, after this explanation, I'll go back and I'll read all the alphabets once again, just reading, no explanation, so you can hear in any uh, sort of concentration. Okay. The fourth letter is Jim. Jim has got a dot in the middle, but if you notice, after Jim, like before, every time to make it easy to learn, the author Rahimahullah has put alif. So ba is written in black, but there's ba alif ba is written there. So we can just pronounce it easily. Here it changed. With Jim, there's no alif, but ya is uh, written there. And as we said before, Jim, the letter Jim, it's not a, uh, it's not ba, it's like e, it's e sound because of ya. So we will say jim. It's the word jim. J, 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 jim. I apologize, I did not change the slide and I started expl explaining just looking at the qaeda. So this is where the jim is coming from. You see, there is an impact. The middle of your tongue is in contact with the upper palate, and that produces this this sound j j j j j jim jim. Some people they uh, make it a little loose, and their jim becomes jim jim. I'm sure you must have heard. Jim. It's not Jim. It's Jim. And it is also not game. Like if uh, I think many brothers are from different Gulf countries as well in Alhamdulillah these courses. So you might have heard in Amiya they say game. Yeah. So it's not game. It's Jim. In Quran there is no letter which the sound is game. It's Jim. J J J Jim. Brother, uh, any uh, questions so far in these five letters? If not, then I'll go back to the first one and I'll start reading so you can hear it. I'll read it a few times and then I will invite you brothers to come and please practice. So is there any question from Alif to Jim brothers? I need to see a few more no's here. Brothers, this is from the other of the class, that if we are sitting there, at least we can say yes and no. We don't just have to sit and do nothing. This is any talibul ilm, and this is ilm or ilmul Quran. We must have some, you know, humility in that. We must have some adab in that. Barakallahu feek, my brothers. Barakallahu feek. Jazakumullah khair. Okay, I'll try to read it now, and then inshallah we will practice. So the first one, now pay attention inshallah. Alif, 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 Alif. Second one is B, 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 B. So practice it with your mics closed with me and then you can come afterwards to practice. This will help you when you'll do practice again. And he will go by the pictures as well, so you can see the pictures as we are practicing. So this is, we are saying, we are bringing our lips together. Now you can say it with me, brothers, with your mic closed. Ba. Ba. Brother Rauf, not yet. I will, open the, I will open the mic and then you can practice. Right now, do it with your mics closed, please. Ba. Ba. Ba, 
third one is ta, and this is very solid as we said before. Ta, 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 ta. Fourth one is ta, where you take your tongue a tiny bit out, just a tiny bit, it should not be too much out, tiny bit out and touch on that part of your tongue, the uh, upper two teeth, the, the end of the upper two teeth. And you say, fa, 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 fa. And now we come to another letter, which has got a dot in its tummy, which is called gene. And gene, like it written on the slide as well, like in English we say jeep, but before in jeep we have P, but here we will say me. J, 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 so bring, yani, press your middle of your tongue to your upper palate, as you can see in the picture. So the, the sound will get trapped, Aj. Aj, aj. So you say ja, 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 ja. So, brothers, I hope you have listened and you have practiced. And uh, I think some brothers can come forward and they read this and then everybody will hear it. And if there's any correction, I will try to explain that again. So that the brother who made the mistake, he can understand and others also can understand. So, okay, brother Suleiman. Okay, uh, okay, brothers, please raise your hands. The hands are coming and going. I don't know if people get shy or what. Naam, Brother Suleiman. Tafadr, Bismillah. Alif. Alif. It's not, Brother. It's not. But, now we will we will run the class very quick, Brothers, so please pay attention. It's not Alif. It's Alif. Solid. Alif. 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 Say move. Say twice and then move, please. Ba. Ba. Okay. Ba. Say when, when you say ba, don't make it heavy. Don't say ba. Say ba. 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 It's not heavy. Yeah. Ba. Right, action. action, brother. Ta. Ta. Now you see, I have explained, brother. You don't have to say ta. Say ta. Make it strong. Ta. When I say ta. it, it's ta, ta, not ta. ta. Say it again. Ta. It's better. It's much better than before. Barakallah. Next letter. Ta. Ta. It's, it's, we have to be careful when we say ta. If you take your tongue too much out, then you will hear this vibration. Look at me. Hear me now. Ta. Ta. It's Tha, because my tongue is too much out. If it's just a little bit out, the sound will be busy like that. Like that. Tha, tha, tha. You will not hear any air coming. Tha. It's not tha. You understand, brother? Okay, yeah. Yes. Tha. Brilliant. That's correct. Tha. Next letter. Jim. No, G. say it long, make it long. There's a ya, and ya is used for elongation. Jim. Jim. Say once again. G. It's better, but G. I think perhaps you need to work on your jim. Your jim has slightly uh, sh -sh coming. Jim. Close G. your yeah, tongue tightly. Jim. Because you are in the learning phase. When you will learn the chidda like this, then your muscles of your tongue will get used to. When you go to recite the Quran, then it will come all natural to you. Barakallah fiqh, my brother. Jazakumullah khair. Brother Aizen, S3. Tafadal. Barakallah fiqh. 
Brother Aizen. Hello. Yes. Should I start reading? Uh, what's your name? Azan. Azan, please read. Yes. Alif. No, no, it's not Alif. I have explained that, my brother. It's not Alif. It's Alif. You could say Alif if there were there was Ya. Ya between Lam and Fa. Then you say Alif because then you're saying Lam and then you're adding Ya. Li and then you're saying Fa. Alif. But right now, it's Lam and straight away Fa. There's no Ya. Alif. 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 Correct. Mashallah. Say it like this. Alif. Alif. Correct. Next letter. Ba. Correct. Next one. Ta. Again, you make you're making it ta. Don't this this is a light letter and alif is also light. Ta. Ta. Okay. You know what? I'll tell you something, brothers. Please hear me out. This is a very, very beautiful thing. These letters, khusta dirtun piz. Sometimes what happens is these are heavy letters, but in practice, when we are reciting other letters. Sometimes we make them heavy. How to change that? Smile. So when you're saying ta, don't say po, say ta. When you say ta, smile. When you will smile, all the air of your mind, mouth will automatically come out. You will not have much room in your mouth for the air to full. What do you do when you recite the heavy letter is you fill your mouth with air. So if you smile, there will be no much air left. Okay, my brother, read the next letter, please. Sir. It's not... Tha, this they should not be seen coming in there. Tha, tha. Tha. Correct. But elongate it a little bit because there's alif after that. Tha. Tha. Brilliant. The next one. Jim. Again, now there's a ya. So you say jim. Jim. Make your jim strong. Jim. Brilliant. Touch and press your tongue, middle of the tongue, on the top palate. Is your gene will automatically become strong. Barakallahu brother Aizam. Brother Shahu Yusuf, Tafadal. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my brother. Ali. No, brother. Just. Ali. No, no, no. Make it a little bit, you know, increase. Alif. Alif. Because Alif. Alif, Alif has got Alif Nam. Alif. Alif. Say, next piece. Ba. Ba. Try to make it lighter. Try to smile when you say Ba. ba. You see now, can you, hear the, can you hear the difference? Ba and Ba. When you smile, it will, the, the all the fullness of the letter will go. Smile and then say Ba. Ta. 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 Say it strong. Ta. Make it very solid. Say ta. ta. Yeah. Okay, where's ta? I am my value part. You see, this is where touch your tongue. See it in the picture. Ta. Touch and then let it go. Ta. Because where this when the sound comes, brother, sound comes from the impact of two bodies. So you say. You don't let, if you touch your tongue to the roots of your gum and you don't let it go, there'll be no sound. Try it. If you don't, op if you don't let them go, there'll be no sound. So, so touch and then say, ta, ta. 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 Next one, brother. Ta. Ta. Okay, Jeez. next one. Jim. Barakallah, brother. Well done, mashallah. Tabarakallah. Okay. Uh, brother Asad, just give me one second. Brother Sharif is asking why elongation and pronouncing example ba is ba. The difference is, brothers, we are in the learning phase. If we say, yani, when the, there's only zabar or fatah on the letter, we don't elongate. We say ba, ta, fa. Now, if, I, if, the, if somebody tell you ba, ta, fa, you are not able to hear the sound properly. And you're not able to understand what has happened because quickly a reader will read ba and move to ta. But when he's saying ba, ta, you can hear it for a longer period of time and hence you can understand how does, does this letter sound. 
So this is the benefit of that. Otherwise, the letter is without alif. Of course, the original letter is the way they're written in black, but it is written in red. As I said, author Rahimahullah, mashallah, he has done a very excellent work. It is for students to understand. Brother Asad, please start. as alaikum Wa alaikum as salam wa Bismillah rahman rahim uh, Alif. Al alif. Brother, brother Alif, be careful. There is no ya between lam and fase. Alif. 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 Ba. Ba. Uh, no, don't ta. make ba heavy. Smile. Say ba. 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 Na. Ba. Smile and you will see that you will automatically feel that before you were saying heavy and now you are saying light. Did you feel that? Yes. Uh, ba. Ba, ta, ta. Now make ta strong. Don't say just ta. Just a little bit with energy. Ta, ta. Touch your tongue and then let it go. Ta, ta. ta like this. Well done. Sa, sa. You should not have a sound. Sorry. Any, when you say sa, try to make that it doesn't look like sa. It should look like sa, sa, not sa, sa. As the sa. picture is there, uh, here's the picture for sa. Sa. No, brother. Sa. Jim. Jim. Well done. For G, just look at the picture and bear in mind. Just make it strong. brother. Thank you very much. Brother Hey, James. I'm Iqbal. Brother Iqbal, okay. You want to read? Well, I mean, should I read it now? Uh, because other brothers are in line before you, so you are after okay. Brother Rauf. If you could just wait, once Brother Abdul Rauf finish, then you can read. I'll wait. Okay, thank you. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Can I start? Uh, yes, Brother Mazin, start. Alif. Brother Rauf, nah. Brother Mazin yeah. is... Okay. All right. Okay. If you want to read, then read. Khalas. Can I start? Yeah, please do. Alif. Ba. Ta. Lala, so, uh, I didn't say ba, brother. I ba. said ba. Show ba. alif. That is, uh, yeah, that alif is after ba. Ba, ta, sa, jim. Okay, this is fine, but make your try to make your jim stronger. Jim, jim. Well done, brilliant, my my brother. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Uh, there are a lot of hands raised. If anybody is ready, please unmute your mic. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa barakatuh, brother Mazin. Yes, yeah, so Alif Ba La 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 la. Say Ba Ba. None. Was it correct? Yeah, it was correct. Ta, ta. Ta. Brother, hear me. Hear me. Ta. 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 Jim. Make Jim strong. Jim. J. 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 Mashallah. Tabarakallah. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you. Uh, next, who wants to read, brothers? Assalamu alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi Welcome, my brother. Please read. Okay. Alif. Alif. Ba. Ba. Make sure uh, when you say ba, uh, my brother, when you say ba, please smile. Ba. Yeah. Ba. Your ba will become. Ba. No. Ba. Yeah. La la la. Yeah. Uh, let let us hear the impact. Look uh, at the picture. Ta. Let your tongue go and hit it, and then say ta. 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 
ت ت سي ت ت ان جي جي اوكي براذر جزاكم الله خير بارك الله فيك اوكي نيكست هو ونت تو ريد براذر السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام ورحمه الله وبركاته براذر عبد الله تفضل ليز عبد الله عبد الله يس براذر علي با تا فا جيم الحمد لله بيتش ماي براذر ويل دان ثانك يو فيري ماتش بارك الله فيك جزاك الله خير Barakallah. Yes, brother. Uh, brother Zahid, do you want to read? Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Wa alaikum salam to Rabbi Khatu, my brother. Welcome, my brother. Tafadl. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alif, ba, ta, sa, jim. Excellent, my brother. Mashallah, you got it well. Mashallah, tabarakallah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Anybody else? Brother Sharif, your mic, I can see unmuted. Do you want to read? Brother Bashir? Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa tira barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Halif. Ba. Ta. No, no, no. Brother, wait. 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 If there the behind you is a noise please ask the brothers to just give give us one minute of quietness to say alif alif ba ba ta ta not ta is ta ta brother look at the picture Touch your tongue where you see in the picture. Where is the tongue going? Touch over Ta. there. Ta. Okay. No, you are perhaps touching it on your teeth. Touch it on the gum and teeth with the root star. Ta. 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 Now, next letter. Ta. Uh, Next year, brother. Did you finish reading, brother? Okay, I think there's some uh, mic issues, perhaps. Can you hear us, brother? Okay, anybody else want to practice? Is it clear, brothers? Now, as far as, as we see the time, time is done. The one hour is completed. So we can continue, but of course, we are not going to finish that, the whole page or even the next line. So how about if we come back again next week and do it? And brothers, don't feel disappointed, as I said before. And trust me, this first line and is easy. When we will move to the next line, you will find that a lot of any struggles will be there. So if you brothers agree, then we will end the meeting for today because it's been one hour now. And then we will come back and inshallah study next week because it's, it's always a good idea to have a little bit for you to practice and make it strong instead of having too much and then not able to do that. Because we can revise every day 10 minutes only. This is, brother, I've got one suggestion. Because yes, it can be one hour, and there are so many students. I think if we should stop saying Assalamu Alaikum, we will save time. And that will give us time to practice, which is more important than saying Assalamu Alaikum. Because the person says Assalamu Alaikum, you give reply. So that consumes time, and the one hour is too short. Secondly, brother, I, yeah. I cannot yeah. see any. But saying who is raising the hand, I cannot see anybody. I don't know. I'm an, I'm only listening. I'm not seeing anyone at all. If, I don't if know you, what, what's okay. wrong with if me. You, if, if you could ask somebody, they will tell you when you will click the participants, then the whole window will open. You will be able to see everybody's name. And if somebody will raise their hand, you will see their hand as well. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah? Okay. 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 Jazakallah khair for your advice, brother. Thank you very much. Is there anybody else who wants to read, brothers? If you want to read, then this is not a problem. We are here. 
What I say no, was, I mean, we don't want to continue with the really. lesson until we practice that. So if somebody wants to practice, Brother Sharif, you want to practice? Yes, yes. Yeah, please, Tafadal, brother. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alif, Ba, Ta, Tha, Jim. Brother, your ta needs to be a little bit correct because when you say it sounds like ta, ta, where it is a very solid word, ta, ta. See the picture? Ta. Okay. It's like that. Yeah? Okay. So just practice during, yeah, very nice. Just practice ta. during the week. Look, I'll, I'll try that you get these pictures, inshallah, on your group. So just when you are saying these words, Feel where your tongue is going. If it is not going in the right place, like I gave you the example of house number 10, 20, 30, then please direct your tongue to go to the right place. Jazakumullah khair, Brother Sharif. Thank you very much. Anybody has got any question, brothers? Yeah. Uh, okay. Can I read it? Yes, brother, please. Okay. Alif. Jim Alif Ba Nu Halchadege Bandoga. Yes, Brother Iqbal. Yes, I'm saying Alif Ba Ta Sa Jim. You're, you, you said, mashallah, all very well, brother. Well done. However, with the ba, just try to smile when you say ba so it doesn't become okay. full mouth. It becomes light. Say ba, ba. When you smile, it will become light letter automatically. Okay, okay, okay. But but probably, brother, I cannot see anybody. I don't know. How to see all of you? Uh, uh, brother, if somebody is around you who knows how to use the Zoom, they will be able to tell you that there is a button where it says participant. If you just press the participant, you will be able to see everybody's yeah. name and everything. Sorry. But I don't see that button participant. Where is that? Brother, There's I can't tell like you. Yeah, ask somebody in your household, inshallah, they will guide you. Jazakumullah khair for reading. You read very well, brother. Barakallah you. Okay, brothers. Brother Azan is asking, when will be the next class? Brothers, the class is going to be uh, next week, same time. And this is for the brothers who were uh, able to attend at this time. And there's another class on Sunday, uh, which is UK time, 6 o'clock. But that's a different group. I hope everybody learned today. And on the group, the group chat will be, uh, the settings will be changed. So, and there'll be a form sent. So if you could fill out the uh, feedback form that will be very brilliant. We will be able to understand that what is there, what you need, what you are expecting, what did you get it? Did you get it bad? Did you get it good? And if you cannot fill the form, then please at least write your comments in the chat box on the group so we will be able to see that what kind of changes are needed if there are any. Jazakumullah khairan for your time, brothers. I'm here for next five minutes. Class is over. If anybody wants to go, they can go. If somebody has got a question, then I will wait for five minutes and then I will. Jazakumullah khair. Thank you very much, brothers, for coming. May Allah bless you. May Allah accept it from me. May Allah accept it from you. Ameen. Jazakumullah khairan.